Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I like to talk about uh, DC converters, also called buck converters, because of its size or the price. I don't know. Both is uh, more or less okay. Uh, you may be familiar with these uh, with these ones. It's the 78 series or the LM317 in a bigger format and you can build your circuit around and then you can make a, a regulated power supply but you can also buy them all complete for almost a buck so I've got four different types and I like to play with those okay and here we have them uh, it's the LM317 it's the well known uh, the only thing is that uh, this one is uh, already uh, pre-built and it has its connections it does one and a half amp and it is adjustable on the output from 1.2 to 37 volts and if you need a little bit more power you can also use the LM2596 that uh, can do more or less the same but then it can do that with uh, 3 amp and if you need a little bit more you also can use this uh, XL4015 it can do 5 amps and on the output also about 1.25 to 36 volts you need to put on the input always like 3 volts extra because it will lose in the circuit but that's, uh, that's okay and I have a little step up converter and uh, I was just uh, interested uh, what it will do and what will happen if you do variations on the input or, or that it also will uh, do the same on the output or that it will be stable and I will try that with all these things um, and I will try with the start with the first the LM317 okay we have a little setup here I'm starting with the LM317 um, we feeding power in from the Farnell and then we have output so we measure here how much we put in with the Farnell power supply and we measure here how much is uh, coming out and it should be fully adjustable between uh, 1.2 and 37 volts so we just gonna have a look uh, what it is adjusted to from factory and we are now putting in 15 volts and on the output yeah, almost 15 and the output is 13 volts so let's go a bit higher and it is still not stable so it seems 23 volts 21 volts so it seems that it is just uh, put to full power so let's see if we can put it to 5 volts or something just to well it is multi-turn yeah now we see a drop so just put it to I don't know 10 volts see if it stays stable it would be like a one amp I think it's 10 ohm so yes one amp Yeah, it's almost one amp and oh it is dropping okay I had the faulty wire I'm now directly measuring on the converter I'm back to the 317 and here you can see the amps it should be like half an amp it's five volts uh, you see half an amp it's still five volts so it was a, a faulty wire I feel the <laughs> regulator is getting warm because it needs to it needs to uh, dissipate a lot because we're putting almost 20 volts in we want 5 volts so it needs to dissipate like 15 times back to the 3 amp regulator uh, it's now exactly 5 volts again I put a load of 10 ohms 
and uh, as you can see the drop is now a lot less because I'm actually measuring on the so my it was completely wrong I did but now it's good and uh, yeah this one doesn't get that hot it is uh, really made to do uh, with a lot of more power and uh, you notice this so the LM317 is really really lightweight and uh, yeah let's put it to 10 volts and then we have a higher current and see if it's still uh, that stable i will take out the load let me see if this works put it to uh, the other way it's multi-turn so i need to turn 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 all the way up to then okay and then here we can see again the amps I put the load we have almost one amp and it is not getting hot and the drop is really minimal so uh, that looks good to me yeah, it's a little bit what you expect. I'm now looking at the 3 amp model. This is without load. And when I put load, there is a lot more noise. Yeah, this is like 400 millivolts. Okay, now we have the 5 amp uh, buck converter. Uh, it also has a light. It looks uh, indeed a lot uh, stronger. And uh, I also have a, a nice uh, cooling so you can add those I think uh, yeah I put an adhesive so you can just put that on there so okay let's see it is on five volts and we put load nothing happens so this is even less impressed I will put a little bit more ten volts same load yeah this one is a lot 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 more stable and they almost cost the same now you talk about the difference between 60 cents 70 cents or 80 cents so i would absolutely go for the 5 uh, amp model because yeah it is super stable and then it uh, doesn't need to uh, run that hard and uh, just to see what it looks like on the scope um, yeah there is a little bit of noise it's uh, 150 millivolt and yeah it's switching so uh, but it doesn't look that bad so for most applications this will be fine yeah, i also have this uh, step up converter but uh, I'm, I'm not able to test it because it's just giving me a big uh, short circuit so it's probably not uh, working oh, it was uh, 50 cents so uh, maybe the <laughs> the 10 turn uh, the multi-turn pop meter is uh, useful <laughs> so uh, if you want a clean signal you go for the LM317 if you need more uh, amps you can go for one of these uh, both are a little bit less clean but they can do 3 amps and 5 amps so if you need that then uh, go for that <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time